What up everybody, it's me Blake316 here to share with you guys my trip to the Sony Wonder Technology Lab. And it's kind of funny that I'm going to this place because many might consider me last generation one of the biggest Sony haters ever. I'll be honest, I wasn't happy with the PS3. But to be honest, I'm really enjoying my PlayStation 4. But regardless, I'm going to the Sony Wonder Technology Lab here to share my experience and to give my overall thoughts with it. As you see, the Sony Wonder Lab is only about four floors, and the first thing I see is they have like these 3D uh, camera screens that give off uh, 3D images. And one of the funniest things that I see that they have is a flying PSP. Yes, the Sony Wonder Technology Lab actually had a flying PSP. Funny thing is, I actually had a flying PSP about four years ago. Who would have known, bro, that Sony actually watches my videos and steals my ideas? <laughs> Another thing they had was these uh, remote control booths where you kind of put these inputs into these computer screens and it kind of controls the cars. And I'm going to be honest with you, it wasn't really working too well. I mean, I don't know if it was the cars that were... Uh, were not uh, functioning properly that day, or just it wasn't it was an overall kind of a bust of an experiment that they were trying to do. You, as on the screen, you put in different various commands, and it wasn't really working out too well, and it wasn't very fun. Kind of like um, the PlayStation Move that came out last generation. I'm not giving out shots or anything, but uh, yeah, that was kind of a disappointment messing around with these cars. And it wasn't just me thinking, oh, Blake, you just didn't know how to use it. As you've seen, a lot of people did not know how to use it, or didn't, it just wasn't working for everyone. Um, as you see, another thing here, they kind of had like this heart monitor surgery type of game, and you know, I figured out I would test my hands on it. It had a really cool controller, and basically the controller was kind of like, uh, obviously the hand where I do incisions on the heart and whatnot. And you know what? I figured I'd try it out. At first glance, it seemed really cool. Um, as you, um, they gave me a name, and I'm about to uh, perform surgery on a heart. And this ain't nothing like, you know, your, what's that one on the Nintendo Wii, the Trauma Center? No, it's totally different. And the controller thing, it felt really cool, but it was not accurate at all. I mean, like, I'm, I'm trying to make an incision. That incision, I guess I'm cutting open the rib cage. But now, eventually, I have to go into the heart and... It just wasn't reading the cuts properly. As you see right here, I'm like trying to go real slow and like, oh, I slipped. There goes the lung. <laughs> I completely missed the incision. And I start getting frustrated and I just start cutting everything open. <laughs> and the nurses are like, uh, Dr. Blake 316, you have to be easy with the incisions. As I like, this isn't Call of Duty. You can't just go out and rush. And unfortunately, I didn't really have uh, much patient patience for that so I, I eventually uh i moved on to another thing which is really cool um they had like these uh this floor where you walked and as you walked it had a spotlight that went wherever you went which is really cool technology i mean I, there's always i'm always like walking in the limelight if you know what i mean so this was really nothing new to me but it was something cool i was kind of experimenting with it like when I walked up the floor, it went away. When I went on the floor, it, it went back under my feet. It was basically something that had to, uh, you had to be on the floor. Another thing they had there was kind of like you want to be a news broadcaster so you can sit in front of these uh, camera screens and you know, you, you read a script and then they put you on the main screen. I wasn't impressed. And to be honest with you, I wasn't impressed with a lot of things there. Another thing I wasn't impressed was they had like these weird, um, you know, thing booths where you go in, and basically when you go in the booth, the camera reads you, and pretty much the uh, the uh, camera reads you, and then basically what's on the screen is supposed to mimic you. And I'm telling you right now, no one's body is doing what this thing is doing. The the the, the, the I don't know what to call it, but it seems like it's glitching out. <laughs> Sony, like, this trip has been a disappointment. Nobody is doing that. Why is it doing that? But here's a look at one of the booths. Like, you literally go inside. It was like some type of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory type of grab, uh, contraption. You go in there, and that's the thing where it mimics your body. And then it's wherever, wherever your arms and legs go, that's what it's supposed to do. 
But as you've seen, it wasn't really working out too well, unfortunately. Um, now when they go on, I believe this is the fourth and final floor. Like I said, it was four floors. Um, on this particular floor, there was uh, video games and TV screens set up. I'm going to be honest with you, these were some of the nicest looking TV screens I've ever seen. And surprisingly, they weren't even 4K, they were 1080p. But, what a disappointment it was because, let's be honest here, this is Sony Wonder Lab and they had nothing but old ass video games. Like they had Madden 25 set up. They had a couple, they had a bunch of Lego games like Lego Marvel Super Heroes, but they didn't even have the Lego Jurassic Park. I thought this was like the Sony Wonder Lab, like it was supposed to be all the newest and coolest stuff. They didn't even have any Sony 4K TVs. What a disappointment. But as you see, people are playing Lego Marvel Super Heroes, but then they had like MLB, uh, one of the baseball games. It was like, bro, what is this? But then this was another thing where, uh, it was kind of a, a game builder where you build your own racetrack and then you also um, got to take your car and race it on the track. The only disappointing thing, or the major disappointing thing was, after you build it, the thing was literally PlayStation 1 graphics. Like, this is boggling my mind. This isn't like your average show place. This is literally Sony Wonder Lab, where I'm expecting to see all this cool, amazing stuff. And it's just like a huge disappointment. I mean, right here, it's kind of like letting me uh, edit my uh, track a little, and those are the controls. And I'm like, I'm not enjoying the edit, uh, the track editor whatsoever. So I'm kind of rushing through it. And I just want to see what it's like. And when I kid you not, like, this is not even the Tamil 64 graphics. This is like PlayStation 1 graphics. Like, I wasn't even joking. It might even be Sega Saturn graphics. But it's Sony Wonder Lab, so you know it got to be PlayStation 1 graphics. <laughs> but, man, just trying to pick a car, just trying to get on it, and it was just another disappointing thing. Man, I mean, I don't want to be a fanboy or anything, but, yo, if this was, like, Microsoft Wonder Lab or Nintendo Wonder Lab, they would have had the newest games. They wanted to have some 20-year-old graphics in these games. And it was just a huge, boring disappointment. I mean... Bro, I'm not bashing Sony. I went on this trip, you know, trying to give it a chance because I'm enjoying my PlayStation 4. But it was just disappointment after disappointment. This was like the only cool thing. They had like TV screens above and it was like, um, you know, showing like old rap, like old video games. But then again, I don't know what GoldenEye has to do with Sony or, you know, or Final Fantasy, as you can see. It was just like a bunch of like really good video games on all their consoles. <laughs> But this was the last floor of the Sony Wonder Lab. Thought I would share my trip with you guys. It's kind of disappointing, but you know what? Make sure to subscribe for future videos. Until next time, peace.